It is no secret that Elvis Presley loved to sing and entertain. Yes, he did. Just a good gamer. He loved his daughter. He loved his friends. He loved his adoring fans. And he also loved his cars. That's a love that started when the famed singer was young. As his career soared, so did his collection of vehicles. It was 1950 when he purchased his most famous car. And you know what it is, don't you? The pink Cadillac. But it's the last vehicle the King of Rock and Roll drove through the gates of Graceland on the evening of his death back in August 16th of 1977 that's catching attention today. Joining us now from Charlotte Motor Speedway to tell us why is Angie Marchese, who is the Director of Archives for Graceland. Angie, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, hi, Jimmy. Welcome to Charlotte. This is a really special car, isn't it? It really is. Um, Elvis bought this 1973 Stutz Blackhawk in September of 74. And as you mentioned, he was driving it the morning he passed away, August 16th, 1977. Mm -hmm. So for the car to be in his life for that long, it was a very special car and probably we could easily say one of his favorites besides the pink Cadillac that you mentioned as well. But this is only one of like more than 20 cars that he had, right? Oh, we have records of Elvis actually purchasing over 200 cars during his lifetime. Oh my goodness. Most of them were given away. Um, we still have 30 in the collection at Graceland. And currently in our car museum, 20 of the automobiles are on display. Um, what's so special about the Stutz is that we just underwent a major preservation project preserving the car the way that it was the last time Elvis drove it in 77 right. and actually getting the car up and running and bringing it to life again, which we were able to do and unveiled it here in Charlotte as a kickoff to Charlotte Auto Fair. We actually had two kings of the NASCAR world here to help us unveil the car, Dale Jr. and Rick Hendrick. Ooh. And it was such an honor to have them here. Um, you know, Elvis isn't here to unveil the car, so why not get Dale Jr. and Rick here to unveil it for us? and actually get it running again and to hear the car actually start up for the first time in over 35 years it was really amazing oh my goodness now i i want to talk more about the studs but but tell me real quick can you can you tell me some more about these other cars that you've got at graceland uh, we have everything from cadillacs to lincoln's we even have two speedboats uh, elvis was just a uh, car enthusiast. Um, we have two Rolls Royces on display at Graceland and uh, Ferrari Dino. Um, so it wasn't just American brands. Elvis also liked his international cars. Right. Uh, but Elvis, uh, Elvis also loved to drive the cars himself. He hated to be driven around. So really? Elvis normally would play chauffeur. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine being Elvis. chauffeured around by Elvis? But yeah, <laughs> Elvis loved to drive. I mean, he really was a hands-on guy when it came to cars. And a sure sign that Elvis was at Graceland was if you drove by the house and all the cars were parked out front, right. then you knew that he was in town because all the cars were ready to go and you would could follow the caravan oh to my. the local movie theaters or to the skating rink or whatever Elvis was doing that evening. So uh, that? the cars are always pro always very prevalent in Elvis's life. Okay, so what made you want to loan the studs to, to the auto fair? It actually started um, last year when we were involved with auto, auto fair for the first time. And I mean, with Elvis's love of cars, it just made sense to actually bring Elvis here to Charlotte for auto fair last year. And it was just such an amazing experience. And we met so many amazing people here that we actually were able to partner up with a team of people to do the proper preservation work on the car. We didn't want the car restored. Right. We wanted it preserved the way it was the last time that Elvis drove it. And being able to get that done kind of cloak and dagger, you know, very secretive <laughs> over the past couple of months. Um, here in Charlotte was great and being able to unveil it was amazing. And, you know, really, if Elvis was still here today, he definitely would be part of Auto Fair. It definitely is something that would be right up his alley, seeing all of the cars from all around the country that are on display here, not only his car, but the Mustangs that are going to be here and the foreign cars. Oh and seeing the kids' faces as they're going through and looking at all these vehicles and seeing the excitement in their eyes, um, the same excitement that he had when he saw cars for the first time. So he definitely would be here at Auto Fair if he was still here with us. So having Elvis represented by the car is just kind of our nod to his love of cars and it definitely is the proper thing to do. That is terrific. Okay, so I can say that I have had the pleasure of touring Graceland. For those who have not visited, how would you describe it to them? 
Oh, Graceland is a time capsule. It really is. When you walk through that front door, it's very homey. Um, you can feel Elvis, Elvis's presence. Um, it really is like he's just out on tour. I mean, all the artifacts that we have on display at Graceland are original. Mm -hmm. So the sofa you see is a sofa he used. The piano is the piano he played. Um, so it really is a place that Elvis raised a family and entertained friends and invited his fans to come visit with him. And you can feel that there. It definitely is a place that Elvis called home. So visiting Graceland, it, and it's much more than just the house. We've got planes and cars and changing exhibit spaces. Um, this year we're celebrating the 60th anniversary of Elvis's first recording. Wow. Um, so that's going to be a big celebration this summer that happened July of 1954. It was yeah. That's All Right Mama recorded at Sun Studios. Um, we have a special exhibit honoring the 60 years of Elvis and how he's still part of pop culture today. Right. And um, it really is a very welcoming experience. Um, Graceland is definitely, if you haven't been, it's definitely some place that you need to stop by and Come by and see us and say hi. Angie Marchese, curator of all the archives at Graceland, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. You really need to go see Graceland. You'd love it. Now, if you want to know more about Elvis's last car, just go to our website, visit delmarvalife.com, and click on the show tab. Well, still ahead on Delmarva Live, from the stage to the small screen, the new show Friends with Better Lives kicks off tonight on WBOC, a romantic comedy with six friends, all at various relationship stages. We are going to get a sneak peek next. The Marvel Life. We'll be right back.